What's up guys? On the left, what you see is NeoVim with no configuration and the, on the right, we have NeoVim with 20 line configuration. Today, we are going to build this configuration from scratch. If you're starting off with your NeoVim journey, this could be your perfect base configuration. To start creating our new configuration, let's open NeoVim configuration at tilde slash dot config slash nvim slash init dot nvim. Type in set number and use colon w to save the file. We're gonna open our sample file, which we saw earlier. We can uh, source the configuration by typing colon source uh, dollar my vmrc and boom, now we have uh, line numbers. I've always have uh, line numbers enabled. I've tried without using them, but always I circle back to enabling them. This gave me a sense of where I am in the file without checking the status line. Next item that I have on my NeoVim is plugins. I use Vimplug for managing my plugins. To install one, go to Vimplug GitHub page. Just search Vimplug uh, GitHub and you can get the link. Scroll down to the readme section in the GitHub page and you can see the installation step. Copy paste the install script onto your terminal to install the plugin. Now your Vim needs to know how to load your plugin. Go to the readme page and scroll down further to find the plugin load commands. Copy and paste the plugin load commands into your new VimRC. Now that we are ready for installing plugins, let's install our first plugin. The first one is Lightline. Search for Vim Lightline in Google. Go to Vim Lightline page, copy the repo name, type plug and then paste your repo name within quotes. For the new plugin to take effect, we need to source the vimrc file once again and run the plugin install command. The command to install the plugin is colon plug install. I have overlaid the default NeoVim status and the Lightline status here just so that you can see the difference. The default status line provides very minimal information while the light line has much more information. I particularly find the color contrast of light line helpful while having multiple windows. The next plugin is a color scheme. The color scheme of choice for me is Groovebox. Search for Vim Groovebox, go to the GitHub page and copy the repo name. Add it to your init.vim using plug command as we did for a previous plugin. Save the file and install the plugin using colon plug install. Now that the plugin is installed, let's use the plugin. Add color scheme groove box to the init.vim file. Save your init.vim file. Either source your init file or uh, here I am closing and reopening the NeoVim which has the same effect. Here we can see how NeoVim is different when a color scheme is enabled. Uh, the groove box color scheme I've used here is a well thought out color scheme and supports all the Vim features. The colors between different features are of uh, good contrast. Uh, the same can also be said for Vim Solarize color scheme, but I prefer the contrast of uh, Groovebox or over uh, Solarize. The next setting for our minimal init file is no wrap. To enable, add set no wrap to your new Vim. Save the file. Uh, let's open the reference file and then source the init Vim file to see the changes. This may be a debatable setting. Some people may want to have the text wrapped but I prefer to have another setting to auto create a new line when a line gets too long instead of wrapping the line. Stay tuned for the next video where we expand this new Vim init file uh, with those settings. The next setting is the most favorite of all the ones we have seen so far. It's a plugin called nvim tree sitter. Go to nvim tree sitter github page, copy the install command and paste into the plug section of new Vim init file. This plugin needs further setting and this is available in the GitHub page. Let's copy that in as well. But first, since this is a Lua config, we need to set up a Lua config section. This can be done by adding Lua less than less than EOF, uh, paste the config and then add EOF again. I am removing all the optional config that comes with the default config we copied. We need to install the plugin first. Uh, so let's source the new NeoVim init file. We see some errors now as the plugin is not installed, uh, but that's fine. Let's uh, run the plug install command. This installs the plugin um, and this alone is not enough for this particular plugin. We need to close and open the NeoVim to start installing the component files of NVIM TreeSitter automatically. Now that the TreeSitter is installed, uh, let's see uh, the magic of uh, TreeSitter. Here is the before and after of NVIM TreeSitter on the NeoVim init file. 
see the contrast in the color scheme nvim 3 sitter supercharges the current color scheme and the new vim in file looks way better as compared to uh, having just the color scheme installed we can also open the sample cpv file that we have been using so far and see how uh, how different it is that's all for today guys comment below and let me know how you like the video and see you on the next video